Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. A few months ago I made a video on five different ways to take a screen capture, a screenshot. And many of the ways were already built into Windows 10 and you probably didn't even know they were there and it was pretty easy. But what if you want to make an actual video capture? Say you want to capture a short little video of say your browser window to show a buddy how to do something. It records the microphone audio and Bob's your uncle. Well, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can do this. And uh, the first one is actually completely free and it's using software that's already on your computer, but you probably didn't even know it. So the first method of capturing video in Windows 10 is to use Xbox Game Bar. Now you may not even have heard of this. You may be going, what the heck is Xbox Game Bar? Xbox is like a console, gaming console. What the heck's going on? Well, it turns out that not so long ago, uh, Microsoft decided to include the Xbox Game Bar in Windows 10. So the first thing we're going to do is click the Start button, go to Settings, and you'll notice there's this Gaming option here. So click that, and most likely this will be turned on. Uh, I had it turned off. So the first thing you want to do is enable the Xbox Game Bar. And then you can notice down here that it says Open X Xbox Game Bar by pressing Win G. Uh, and also the other keyboard shortcut, Win-Alt-R, uh, that's to do a quick recording without actually having to click buttons in the game bar. I'll show you this in a second, but the one you really have to remember is Windows Key plus G. Before we go off there, uh, let's look in the Captures section, and we want to enable Record Audio when I record a game, uh, Turn Mic On by default when I record, and this is going to be very handy because what it's going to do is every time you do a quick recording uh, of an application window, it's going to automatically enable the microphone on your computer so you can just talk as you're, you know, doing something, showing your buddy how to do stuff or whatever, and you're done. The rest of the settings you can look over, but they're not really necessary. So now that we've enabled it and configured captures, uh, we can close the settings window. And now what we're going to do is just take a, a quick little... Uh, video with Xbox Game Bar Capture. So let's open up our browser here. And okay, so what if I want to actually record this Brave browser window? Uh, what you do is you press the Windows G on your keyboard, and that's going to start this whole big honking Xbox Game Bar. Now you can you can close all these other windows. You don't really care about this stuff. Uh, here it shows you the audio that you're going to record. You can close this performance thing and blah blah blah. Now this is this is the window you actually care about, the, the capture up here. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to click the record button. But before we do that, let me click back on the window. Uh, if I have multiple windows open, the key thing to remember here about uh, Xbox Game Bar is that it can't record the entire desktop. It can only record an application window. So what you need to do is actually ensure that this window that I want to record is selected and then do Windows G. Now you can just click the record button. And there you go. There's my capture status. So now I can go back to my window and you notice that there's this little capture thing up in the corner here with a stop button. And I can scroll here. I can look at this beautiful website. I can log in and show people how to do stuff. And when I'm done, I just click the stop button. Hopefully that's still on the screen. And it says game clip recorded. Now, uh, in order to find the recorded clip, you simply open up File Explorer and you go to Videos. Where are videos? There they are. And then there will be a new folder called Captures. And when you go into Captures, there's the video that it just recorded. You can see the length is 20 seconds, the size is 24 megs, and it's a nice uh, MP4 file. And uh, if I wanted to, I can, I can open this video up and watch it. And of course, it'll have audio in the whole nine yards. So that's the first technique. Uh, Xbox Game Bar comes with Windows 10. If you notice that you don't have Xbox Game Bar for some reason, what you can do is you can go to the Microsoft Store, you just click Start, open the Microsoft Store, and you search for Xbox Game Bar. And as you can see here, I already have it installed. If for some reason it's not installed on your computer, you just click the Install button and boom, you'll have uh, Xbox Game Bar and you can use the WinG shortcut and you can start recording stuff.
So that's Xbox Game Bar. It's pretty handy. It's built into Windows 10, and as I said, you can use it to record an individual app window. You can also use it to record a, a full screen game, which technically is a single app window, but you cannot use it to record your entire desktop. So it's kind of limited, but if you're just wanting to make a quick little vi instructional video or something, it's very handy, it's very efficient, it's built in, it costs absolutely nothing, and you're pretty much done. Now the next option I'm going to talk about is a paid option. And even though it's paid, it's extremely powerful. So the first paid option we're going to look at is TechSmith's Snagit. Now Snagit has been around for a very long time. And at present, I think it costs about $49. Um, then you have to buy each new version of the software. If you pay for, you know, pay 49 bucks, you get one version. If within a year they release a newer version, they usually give you that version for free. Um, but you're going to have to pay, you know, like another 19 bucks or something to get the upgrade each year. Um, you don't technically have to if it's still working, so um, pretty much count the cost is $49. Uh, Snagit is extremely powerful. It has a gajillion and one options. Uh, you can annotate things. You can do like picture in picture with a webcam uh, where you're recording your screen and your, your webcam is overlaid on top of, of the image. You can, I mean, you can create animated GIFs. Uh, you can edit little videos when you're done. It's, it's uh, extremely powerful. I don't even know all the options that, that it has. So <clears throat> let's say we run Snagit here. And okay, so this is the Snagit window. As you can see, you can do uh, an image capture, you can do a video capture, you can capture a window or a region where you'll actually be able to select on the screen, you know, like what region you want to record. Um, there's all, you can capture the cursor or not, record the microphone or not, um, record system audio, blah, blah, blah. There are a lot of options in here, but pretty much like from the get-go, you should be able to just fire it up and say, uh, okay, uh, you know, I want to record a window, do do do. So then I'll say capture and it'll ask me what window I want to record. And I say this one. And then when it's ready to go, I click the record button and it shows you what it's going to record. And when you're done, it will open up uh, a handy little editor. It's basically, a, it's a basic video editing software. It's pretty cool if you want to do slightly more complicated screen captures or if you want to capture your entire desktop. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty standard. It's more complicated than, than Xbox Game Bar. I'm not going to show you all the 80 gajillion options because it gets kind of hairy. It has a small learning curve, but it's really not that difficult to use and... Yeah, so it's uh, fairly handy. Okay, so that's Snagit. Now, as powerful as Snagit is, it has a couple quirks. The number one quirk is that uh, you're supposed to be able to record either your whole desktop or an individual application window or any region of your computer screen that you select, and you click record and it works. Very often, uh, and if you search their support forums, you'll see how often, uh, even if you disable the microphone recording, it will tell you, sorry, error, I can't record because I can't find your audio hardware. Even if you turn, say, don't even record any audio, I don't want any audio, it still gives you this error. This problem has never happened to me on any desktop computer, but it's happened to me on three different laptop computers from different manufacturers. There's something about laptops in particular that it doesn't like. Their support forum is filled with requests about this. And of course, it's very annoying if all you want to do is just do a quick little recording. Their support forums also have all kinds of solutions, it usually involves uninstalling and reinstalling the softwares, updating your audio drivers, blah, blah, blah. If you want to use Snagit, given that it's actually pretty awesome, except for this one little problem where it complains about the microphone, once you get that solved, it's fantastic software. So how do you solve that microphone problem? Well, what you do... Oh, a new version is available. What you do is you buy one of these. And what this is, is just, uh, this is a, a U-Green. You can get any old one. It's basically just uh, an audio an audio chip, a sound card, essentially, in a USB stick. And you have a, uh, a headphone slash microphone jack here. You've got USB on the other side. And all you're going to do is plug this into your computer. 
and then plug uh, a pair of headphones with a microphone into the jack, stick that in, and the computer will find, you know, the drivers and go, oh, hey, you have a new microphone and a new, uh, uh, new speakers, new headphones. And if you want to record from the microphone, you just use this guy as your microphone instead of the one built into your laptop, and everything will work. The microphone error will stop, everything will work beautifully. Um, these are just a few dollars, they're not very expensive, and for some reason Snagit does not like the audio chips that are inside many laptops. I don't know why, because they're not any different than... I don't know, it's, it's a bizarre problem, but the only solution I found to that problem is to get one of these little USB audio dealios and stick it in the side of the lappy, and um, then Snagit will no longer give you that annoying microphone problem, and it works beautifully then, and you'll be super happy with it. The second paid option for doing video captures is IZSoft. Uh, special thanks to Jacques, a friend of mine who put me onto this piece of software. It's a little bit more expensive. Um, you can ha there's like a cheaper version. It's like thirty nine dollars. I think you can pay monthly. You can pay annually thirty nine dollars a year, or you can pay like sixty nine dollars uh, and you get lifetime updates. I think at the moment they have a sale where it's like on sale for fifty five dollars for lifetime updates. So it's a little bit more expensive uh, than Snagit, uh, except that you have to pay. They're actually about the same price because if you have to pay for annual upgrades for Snagit, sometimes. Um, you may as well just get the AZSoft one, pay the higher lifetime fee, um, and you're off and running. This is the AZSoft homepage where you can, uh, uh, you can get it. There's a, there's a kind of a trial version, it's a free download that you can use if you want to try it out. 30-day um, money-back guarantee. Uh, I had never heard of this AZSoft, uh, but this is actually a fairly good. It's it's just as full-featured and fancy as Snagit. Uh, it also has crazy features like picture-in-picture -picture and you can annotate stuff, you can take snapshots of videos, you can you can do everything with it. It also has a basic video editor just like Snagit. Uh, it's, it's essentially just a Snagit alternative and it does not have this uh, this crazy mic problem. And so what does this one look like? Just to give you a, a quick look so just to give you a quick look at the IZSoft screen recorder, here we are running it. And as you can see, it's kind of similar to Snagit. Uh, you have all these other crazy options over here. Uh, the one you're going to do is uh, you know, click, click video recorder and you can have a custom size. You can say what you want to do. You can draw on the screen and say, I want you know this size capture or whatever. And once you've picked your thing, you, you click record. It has a countdown. It's essentially exactly the same as uh, is snag it. Uh, it's just a different company that makes it and overall it's um, Yeah, it's pretty much as full featured as snag it uh, It may be a little cheaper because you get lifetime updates and you don't have to pay annually as you might have to do with snag it um, Otherwise, it's pretty much the same and again, I'm not going to go through all the features because there are a lot of them um, but as I say when you're done recording you can uh, you can edit, you can annotate, you can do all kinds of fancy stuff, and it's pretty sassy. Now, as with Snagit, the IZSoft screen recorder has EasySoft, I-A-Z, whatever. However you pronounce it, <laughs> that screen recorder has a little quirk of its own, and it's not the microphone this time. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, the problem comes when, say you're doing like a Zoom recording, and you want to do a full desktop capture, maybe you want to capture the Zoom recording and some stuff you're doing. Of course, Zoom will record itself, but uh, using Snagit or AZSoft, you can get kind of a higher quality recording many times. And the problem with the AZSoft screen recorder is that when you are recording Zoom sessions, for some unknown reason, it very often just um, stops recording. Like you have an hour long Zoom chat, you're recording it, you're recording your whole desktop, and AZSoft will just go, yeah, I, I stopped recording. And if you don't notice, then you lose like the last 40 minutes of your conversation. Um, you can just click it and start it again, and oftentimes it'll just go until the end. It doesn't happen all the time. Um, I've never tried it with Skype. It's something that seems to be particular with Zoom and AZSoft screen recorder, where probably because they're both accessing, you know, graphics hardware and the screen and audio and all this stuff, 
um, they just conflict somehow and um, it doesn't happen all the time when it does you just restart the recording uh, so if you're specifically using it to record higher quality uh, zoom chats uh, azsoft is not very good for that given that it sort of bombs for everything else i've used it for um, it's fantastic i actually use azsoft uh, instead of snagit most of the time for recording these tutorial videos and i really really like it one of the benefits of azsoft over snagit is that uh, the AZSoft screen recorder seems to be much lighter. Um, Snagit sort of, you start to record and it seems to get kind of bogged down and is sort of laggy sometimes. And the AZSoft screen recorder is just like super zippy. Um, the whole, the whole process is, uh, except for this little zoom quirk, um, AZSoft screen recorder for me, I think is better and it's just zippier. So Right, you have the free Xbox uh, game bar, you have uh, TechSmith Snagit, you have AZSoft Screen Recorder. If you go for either of the paid options, uh, they each have their quirks and features. Uh, you're never going to get, uh, you know, perfect screen recording. And, you know, if you don't pay for anything, you can only record a single window with Xbox game bar. Even if you do pay for something, don't expect them to be perfect. Uh, it's very much like video editing. Uh, Video editing cannot be made simple. There are always problems. You're running multiple pieces of software. Things conflict with each other. Um, that's just kind of life. So, But if all you want to do is a quick capture of a single application window or a game or something, use Xbox Game Bar, and there you go. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info, or if you're having a problem that you can't quite solve, see scottystech.info and click Hire Me. If you're having a problem that you can't quite solve, I actually have uh, three different tiers of service. The first of which is free. You simply fill out the form below. Uh, you tell me what your problem is, and if I can fix it, which I usually can with an email, uh, I will write back to you as soon as possible and hopefully get you sorted out. So thanks for watching. See you next time.